Welcome to F1 Manager 1991. Yep, that's right. Today we are playing an insane F1 1991 mod for F1 Manager 22. And this is such an in-depth mod. As you can probably clearly see by what you're seeing on screen now, we've got driver faces, driver cars with unique models, all new staff for each of those teams, and accurate team performances corresponding to the 1991 season. This incredible mod was made by Blowmiss. I'll leave a link down below if you want to go check out an early version of this mod right now on Nexus Mods. It's been creating quite a buzz on the subreddit of F1 Manager, and massive thank you to Ablo himself for emailing me about this mod and being able to give me a link to check it out because it is truly incredible. So let's just get started showing you everything. So we've got McLaren with Ayrton Senna and Gerhard Berger and you'll notice like I said every single car model is custom for each team. They have different bodies, aero and even different wheelbases for some of the cars being shorter and longer than others and we've got all 10 teams, 81 drivers from the 1991 season and subsequent seasons, including young drivers like Fisichella, Coulthard, Villeneuve, and many others. But yeah, so McLaren with Senna and Berger, Ferrari with Alan Prost and John Alesi, Benetton, Nelson Piquet and Roberto Moreno, Williams, Nigel Mansell and Ricardo Patrese, Tyrrell with Stefano Modena and Satoru Nakajima, Leighton Howes and even Capelli and Mauricio Gulapemin, Team Lotus with Johnny Herbert and Mika Hakkinen, Ligier, Thierry Bustain and Eric Comas, Minardi with Pierluigi Martini and Gianni Morbidelli, and Jordan Grand Prix with Andrea de Ceseris and Beran Gosch. Like I said, all the car models are entirely different and you can really see that even with the wheelbases from these cars being longer and you'll see it in the gameplay as well. It's just incredible. It's, I never thought modding on... I, I knew this maybe game would be more open to modding potentially with car models and things like that because it's running on the Unreal Engine. Maybe it's a bit more open to these kind of things. But I never imagined this early on into the game cycle we get such an incredible mod. And the fact that it's 1991, so it's so many years ago, it's just incredible to inject this very different flavor to the modern game that we have. This grid's actually stacked. It's quite a difficult to decide who I want to actually manage, but I think I'm going to go for, just because of his moustache alone, we're going to manage Williams and manage Mansell and Patrese. So here's the full list of drivers. Like I said, 81 of them here from 1991 and beyond in terms of the junior drivers, but Prost and Senna right at the top. Our man Mansell in third with 88 rating. So we've got as accurate as a calendar as we can get from 1991. In 1991, the first race was the USGP at Phoenix Street Circuit, Phoenix, Arizona. So in the game here, we've got Miami. Then it goes to Sao Paulo, Brazilian Grand Prix. Then it was uh, Imola, Monaco, Canada, the Mexican Grand Prix, French GP. In 1991, that was at Magny Corps, but of course here we've got Paul Ricard. Silverstone. There was Hockenheim in there, but we obviously don't have that in the game, so we've got the Austrian Grand Prix instead. The Hungaro Ring, Spa, Monza. We then had the Portuguese Grand Prix at Estoril, so instead we've got Zandvoort. Then we had the Spanish Grand Prix at Catalonia. Japanese GP at Suzuka. And then we ended at Adelaide for the Australian Grand Prix. We end here at Albert Park. So we've got a, a nice custom calendar here, and to be fair, most of the circuits are accurate to what we've got in the game and is available. And for the ones that aren't, it's pretty good replacements. Our technical chief here at Williams, Patrick Head. And at the time, head of aero at Williams, Adrian Newey. So we're heading on into the Brazilian Grand Prix in this video. Ayrton Senna on pole position for McLaren. Mansell, though, gets on the front row alongside him. We've got Patrese on the second row alongside Pross, and then the Ferrari of Lacey in fifth. Berger and the McLaren, he off the mark a little bit compared to Senna. 
by a whole second there down in P6. And PK, Modena, Moreno and Capelli round out the top 10 of this grid. But uh, just that little play around off camera with the first race at uh, that US GP. Just to get a taste of what the racing is like without DRS, without ERS in play. And also slightly what I'm seeing, different tyre wear and fuel levels as well in terms of how quickly they're able to bring back the fuel into play and how quickly it burns as well. Just so I didn't go completely in blind and we can actually have a bit of fun in this race around Sao Paulo. So strategy around here, Brazil, it looks like all, all uh, indicators to two stops either way. I'm going to go for, I reckon, um, medium, hard to me. I, I actually think, let's switch this round. Who will win? Only time will tell. Right, here we go to the Brazilian Grand Prix in 1991. Lights out and away we go. Let's see. Senna leads us away from pole position. Mansell second place. But Tracy, though, round the outside. A little bit of infighting with our two teammates. But Tracy going the long way around Mansell. Bit on the curb. Side by side. Hopefully they don't fight too much because we need to focus on Ayrton Senna. These McLarens are bloody quick. In the first race, Senna locked up. Up and he went down the order, came back to fourth despite that. Berger crashed out of the entire race. So we got a bit of a gimme there. We got a 1-2 in that first race off camera. Just, But I feel like I got beginner's luck a little bit. So let's see. This may be a harder one to face. But behind Pross, Lacey uh, still in fourth and fifth. Berger remains in sixth. But let's see how uh, quickly he can get up the order. But Mansell on the tail. Berger did run wide there at turn six. But Mansell chasing after Senna here in Sao Paulo. So we got them on full out attack right now with Patrese. He might actually go and overtake Mansell in this first stage because he's on the hard tie. So I'm going to go to mediums and maybe just kind of let Patrese actually overtake Mansell. Let, let us annoy Senna with Patrese on the medium compound attire. I'm actually going to say let him buy. Don't fight teammate. Let him buy. And then let's see what we can do with Patrese to annoy Senna. But at the moment, he's breaking the one second. I mean, I say breaking one second. doesn't matter because with this mod, um, I think in the background, there is a tiny bit of DRS element. But it's because it's kind of almost simulating the slipstream effect because you, you can see there's no DRS uh, on the heads-up display. Um, the mods remove them. There's no ERS. It's not in play. Even the tyres, we, we can see, you know, attacking them. But the tyre wear levels are a bit different as well. But um, so with Patrese, the one, one second doesn't really matter. It's more so just getting, getting the lap time in and being able to attack Senna uh, and keep up with him. Mansell falling away a little bit, but we know he's on the hard compound. Let's go aggressive, though, to stay ahead of Prost, though, at least. So Senna's gone with the medium as well. We're the old one now, actually, with Mansell on the medium compound of tyres as, as he is attacked by Prost. So we're playing the long game a little bit with Mansell looking to be faster in the last two, especially the last in, especially being uh, better in the last in. So just going to try and eke this out and hopefully stay ahead of these guys. All right, and we're closing up to Senna with this Williams and Patrese Mansell. Actually looking a bit comfy now on the, meet, on the hard tyres as we're pushing him a little bit more just to keep that performance. And behind, you've got fighting going on. Berger down the inside of... Oh, no! Oh, Patrese span it! No! As uh, Berger gets past Alessi in the Ferrari, Patrese span it, and he's out. I think he's fully out of it. He span at turn one. I spoke about Senna locking up in round one, giving us a gift there. And now we've been dealt our own heavy blow. Patrese spun out. And I think that might be, well, him taking a long while to get back into the race and maybe fully out of it. Yeah, he gets going again. But now he's really out of it of this race. So now we're focusing on Mansell. Surprise, surprise. In second on hards, 2.7 behind Senna. All the work to do. This really will be a long-term now race because we'll probably meet back up with Senna at the end of the race. You know, all being, no, no, you know, neither of us have some spins there, but Patrese, oh dear. Patrese did really well in the first race for me. Uh, we did a one-stop around the USGP versus uh, Mansell 
on a two. And I got I got us a one two for Williams. So he did so well. Of course, of course, the, the race where I'm actually recording it and showing you guys on camera, one of our drivers has a spin. Of course. I want to point out, though, we did get a one two at, 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 at uh, the USGP in the opening round. We did. OK, I've even got the proof of it. We, ha we did get a 1-2. We did. But now we've got it all to do to try and win this race against Senna in a very strong McLaren. And of course, in 1991, at the start of the season, the McLaren was very, very strong. Mantle did hit a bit of a stride, though, in the midway to the end of the season with the Williams car. But let's try and rewrite history and see if we can take the fight to Senna. At the moment, though, we're dropping back quite dramatically. 3.1. And Prost is coming at us in the Ferrari. So Patrese's already made his way back. Such was the gulf of uh, some of these teams in terms of pace. So he, now he's in the pack with all these different cars. The Jordan. You've got, I think that's the Tyrrell, isn't it? I mean, obviously you have to forgive me if I get some of the team names wrong in terms of their liveries. Because, uh, you know, 1991. Before I was born. Four years before I was born. So literally did not watch it live. But um, Patrese, hopefully... Make, gonna make his way through. He's still the fastest man, actually, with the fastest lap. So you can see the tire wear levels going down a bit. We're gonna, gonna go on standard and just see him through to the end of the stint, basically. But he's making moves there whilst Mansell up ahead is just holding station in P2. Senna 4.1 ahead, flying away with it right now. Right, lap 11, sit rep. Mansell on the hard, struggling for ultimate pace, as you'd expect. But I'm hoping we can, you know, we can pull this back. There's yellow flags as someone spun in sector two. Berger in the very strong McLaren now is up into P2. He's overtaking the two Ferraris. And now he's going to go around the outside of us to make it a McLaren 1-2. No surprise at the moment, but I'm really hoping we can come back. The pace Senna has shown on the mediums right now. That's the pace we're going to have later on in this race. Meanwhile, Patrese in the pack making his way through. But that was the overtake. Berger versus Mansell round the outside. Oh, it's just oh, so iconic, though, to see these old cars in action on this game. It's sick. It's awesome. I can't get over it. It's really, really cool. Oh, no, Mansell! Mansell's gone wide! No, don't do this to me! Why? Why? He locked up. He's down to P4. PK is in uh, P5. Lacey's really struggling in that Ferrari. PK's up into P5. Right, Mansell, look. Come on, mate. Look, remember, you've got a moustache. That gives you infinite speed, okay, man? You need to just get past this lockup, and we'll come back through this. Right, I'm pitting Patrese now for hards. He's up to P9, to be fair. Going defensive on the car behind. And uh, of Capelli, that was. He just overtook him, actually. So he'll now pit on this lap. Good progress actually made from him. We've got Mansell with the tyres severely overheating despite being on, on standard. So you can kind of ignore that a little bit. But look at this gap. I mean, Senna. In a world of his, I mean, it is Ayrton Bloody Senna, of course. Berger, P2, that McLaren, very, very strong here. And obviously, they need to make amends because Berger crashed out the race. Senna, I think, only got P5 or 6 in the first race. So they're making up in terms of the points. But Berger is in the pits now. Right, Mansell leads now. Senna in second. He's on another set of mediums. Everyone else has gone on hard. So Senna's just going for out-and-out -out speed right now. Maybe controlling the race at the end on hards we're hoping for the opposite so we're basically we're actually it's quite nice in a way we're kind of mirroring in the opposite way senna's strategy right now so just got to keep on going a little bit longer pit windows opening one lap i think we'll come in earlier for the mediums because they look like a very good race tire right mansell you're gonna pit now as we're in the third sector senna's already caught up to us senna's already caught up to us that is mad that is mad All right mansell's in come on nige the mustache power and the mediums. Let's go. Right, Mansell's catching up to Prost now. Patrese's making a load of overtakes here. And he's actually saved a lot of fuel by, by being in the traffic of all these cars. Nice move down the inside in sector two. And he's actually positive by so much on fuel. So he can now push on. And I, I hope he can get into the points. Obviously, the top eight as he gets through into P10. In the fighting, Mansell now behind Prosper. This is the gap we're really, you know, concerned about is the McLarens are running away with this. They're so good. 
so good around it. I'm actually now kind of annoyed, like low key. Like I, I know I, I show you the replays of uh, us winning uh, the, the US GP. The reason I didn't want to show you guys that race because obviously, even though it, it is the US GP, because it was Miami, it looked a bit odd. Obviously, the, these 1991 cars on a modern circuit. So for the sake of the video, I wanted to show you guys these cars on a circuit that was actually there in 1991. But in terms of my ego and my pride, uh, we may not get the win. But Mansell. As I've been talking about that, just overtook Prost up into P3. Now clean air to chase after Berger. That's the overtake though. Let's watch it. Mansell on the inside. Oh, it's just epic seeing these wide old cars in action. They just looked epic, man. They're poster worthy. Right, new fastest lap for Mansell. That's what we want to see. Mustache power. Come on. Right, Patrese's P6 right now. Going to make him come into the pits. Pross and Berger in now. So Patrese can recover very, very well, actually, still. I mean, there's a massive gap, obviously, from, from when he locked up and everything, but such is the pace of the Williams over a lot of the grid. You know, McLaren, Williams, Ferrari, so much more pace compared to a lot of people. But Mansell pops in a fastest lap whilst conserving fuel on standard. That's promising. That's promising. There's a lot of traffic there as well that we're going to lap, and that's going to help us with the fuel as well, I think. Oh, Patrese's crud! No! He was recovering so well! Patrese! Oh, he was trying to un... Was he Was he being lapped? He was being lapped by Senna, and he's cra... Oh, come on, mate. You could have crashed into Senna, maybe, to help us out. He's uh, He's gone straight on. It's quite a, quite a, a dramatic one at turn one. So we're left with just Mansell in this race, and McLaren are going to come back at us. This man, the man, the myth, the legend, Ayrton Senna. He has been absolutely thumping this entire And in this 1991 Brazilian GP, Ayrton Senna is going to come home for the win at his home race. In front of him is a adoring crowd. It's a 1-2 for the Marlboro McLaren boys. Mansell, valiant effort, P3. We got the win at the USGP, though. 1-2 for Williams there. So it is Williams and McLaren locking horns at the start of this season. I'm actually just, I'm not going to lie, I'm actually annoyed that I didn't choose to show uh, the USGP in terms of a live recording because I did win that one. I did. I had a good strategy with a two-stop with Mansell and for Tracy with a one-stop to get the 1-2 there. I did. Trust me. But here today, nah, Senna just had too much for us. Of course he did. It's the Brazilian Grand Prix. He, of course he was going to be driving the wheels off this thing. Prost came home in P4 for Ferrari. A lacy, bit of a shocking one. P6, so far off the mark. I think he got lapped. And PK comes home as the last car on the lead lap in P5 with the last few points going. So Senna wins it, Berger P2, Mansell third place. Go on, Nige, do it for all the people with moustaches. Come on, man. So in the Drivers' Championship, we lead with Mansell one point ahead of Senna with both of them having a win to a piece. Constructors-wise, we're ahead by one point to McLaren. So you can see it is game on. And that's where we're going to leave it today, guys. If you have enjoyed it, then be sure to hit that like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Like I said, if you want to check out the mod for yourself, the link will be below if you want to download it. Uh, obviously, only PC only. And a massive thank you to Ablomis for, uh, again, uh, contacting me uh, to, you know, to check out this mod. A lot of fun. An amazing, amazing mod. And, well, you know, it's been a close fight. Here, one point between Williams and McLaren, one point between Mansell and Senna. If this video gets enough love, potentially, maybe, maybe I'll look into doing a kind of secondary mini series where we condense maybe uh, multiple races into one episode of this mod, maybe. And also, just I'm going to keep a close eye, obviously, because I believe this mod is still a bit of work in progress. There might be further updates to come. So if there are, I'll check it out. But that's been a really fun video today, guys. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. If you're new around here, get subscribed for weekly full on content. Goodbye.